What's going on? It's D-Man. Bringing to you another crew video. Same team, same day. And this game is pretty important because we actually played these dudes before. And they beat us. So this game, we wanted that revenge. We wanted to get that W. You see our overalls. Look at us. Now look at them. 99, 99, 90. You know, that's the cool thing to do on NBA 2K14. Just buy your my players. Overlook my player mode. Look, you might as well. I'm telling you. If you're looking to play only black top and crew, no my player mode, you might as well just buy your my players. And that's real. And check out K-Spade with the Rainmaker. K-Spade had that shot going the whole day. I couldn't find my shot on black top. I don't know what the deal is. My mid range is maxed out. But the releases on the crew mode and the black top are so weird. Maybe it's just me. But it seems like you're supposed to just tap X when you shoot. And sometimes I try to hold X down and it will be like slightly late. One time I shot a mid range jumper and damn near air balled. I didn't know what was going on with my shot but I just could not find it. You see early in this game, we putting in the work. We playing some defense. QJB and Air Jones down low were a problem for most of the teams we played. I can't wait until our overalls match the opponent's overalls. Basically 85 plus is really all we need. Even if we get to a 99, I know that the playing field will be balanced and we'll be able to do more because with the 90 overalls that's running around now, they're getting every rebound, every loose ball, every steal, but it's all good. Like I said, once we get our players up, I know we'll be balling like crazy. Speaking of balling, we're actually doing pretty well right now. We're up by two on this team, so you know we're going to try to build this lead. It's funny because like I said in my last video, I'm a free agent, and the hardest part about being a free agent in the online cruise mode is trying to determine how everybody plays, where everyone is going to be, and most of the time, you kind of feel like you're in the way. You know, when I play with my homies, I run in and cut a lot. But with actual centers, with Jones and QJB, they're going to be in the paint. So I know I can't run down there like I really want to. But you're going to see me do it a few times anyway. Like right there, I caused a turnover. I wasn't the one passing the ball, but I was down in the paint. I should have been down there, and he tried to hit me. So in a way, that turnover is my fault. Because I should have been out on the wing or something. And you see right here, I'm going to take it in for the poster under 90 small four whatever he was he was a 90 plus we was mad hyped right there we're back on defense look at this they're gonna miss a layup get a board and that dunk is gonna get blocked get that out of here that's what i like about 2k14 so far and you see they're reaching they do call reaching fouls but on 2k14 the blocking system is so nice you can't play around in the paint you gotta know what you're doing if you make a mistake or if you go up weak your layup or dunk is gonna get sent and I passed it to the wrong person right there, but it ended up working out. K Spade is going to knock down that mid-range jumper. Pick and roll with QJB. I tried to, but that was a sloppy pass. I ended up forcing a turnover right there. It's all good, though, because I'm going to try to get it right back. They tried to throw a full-court pass. That wasn't happening. I'm going to send it down court to LaParis. LaParis is going to pass it to Jones. And Jones with that Kevin Garnett game. It's going to knock down that jumper. And you can see the score. We're getting jiggy right now. It's 8-13. to And check out this block. That was a huge block. And on 2K14, you can actually hear blocks now. And that sound is so thunderous. They're on the fast break. You know we're trying to shut this down. And they're going to make a bad play. And we're just sending the shots left and right. Access denied. But check out this play right here. Check out Eric Jones going in for the dunk. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. He looking like he trying to be in the dunk contest. That was just so nice. But we're not done yet. 10 to 14. K Spade wide open. You know you can't leave Spade open. You know that range is somewhat strange. Actually really strange. And he's going to knock down those three pointers. Spade's going to pass it off to Authentic. And we're working around the Jones. And Jones was pretty much killing it this game. I think he had about 11 points. So you do the math. 11 points in the game that goes to 21. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. You see, we get the strip at half court. QJB passing it to Jones again. They're going to block that. It's going to go in anyway. But it's going to be a goal 10. We're definitely getting our revenge on this team. We didn't want to lose to these dudes twice. So we had to turn up real quick. You see this possession. Look at this pass by me, man. I'm such a bum in crew sometimes. I just be shaking my head at myself. But it did hit off the defender. That's why it went all the way down court. So luckily, we have another shot at this possession. I'm going to run in. Cut in. LaParis is going to find me. I'm going to get that easy dunk. Luckily, it didn't get blocked. I'll still be trying to play this like 2K13 at times. At times, I just think I can run in and dunk it. But there's actually defense in 2K14. We're trying to close this game out. QJB is going to pass it down low to Jones. And Jones is going to end the game. So we get our revenge on this team. And why do people lay down on the concrete like that? Like, who does that? I'll draw later. Peace.